did say it was going to have uh, DDR6 uh, RAM, so um, that speeds are supposed to be ridiculous for that RAM. So yeah, so uh, yeah, we we'll have to wait and see. I'm, um, I'll look for it. I'm not, I'm not looking to get it. I'm just if it's there, it's there. If the game is going to be, because again, the best looking game I've seen. At this gen, best looking game I've seen has been Horizon Zero Dawn, followed yeah. very closely by Detroit Become Human. Yeah, you know, so well, and the Forza games look good too. Well, wait, so. until, wait until Ghost of Shima comes out. That looks from the yeah. gameplay you saw, it looked beautiful. It looked beautiful, yeah, yeah definitely. Well, Comcast is being Comcast. Fucking fuck <laughs> I don't even know what the last thing I said because I didn't even realize it had disconnected. I realized after I didn't hear anybody talking no more. I'm like, what the fuck? I look down, I see reconnecting. I'm like, reconnecting? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Well, before I get these, before I, I, I do have to, because I can't get my, you know, Fandango, I cannot get my code to work. What is Fandango? Uh, um, that's how I go get my uh, movie tickets. Uh, you just you purchase them online, and when you get to the movie theater, you uh, it prints out a code, and uh, you just put the code in the Fandango machine, and then it um, it prints out your movie tickets. Oh, so, so you skip the line? You just walk straight in? Yeah, which there's no line technically anymore because it's reserved seating. So, mm -hmm. um, but. Um, I was just, uh, what did, um, what do you think about those two heat sinks I put in there? Nah, it wasn't even, it wasn't even, uh, Streamlabs OBS, man. It was just Comcast, bro. Cause when I went and looked at the modem, the modem was flashing. Oh yeah. Yeah. I've got Spectrum. I've had that happen to me before. Man, Comcast <laughs> is a piece of shit. That's what it is. Every they they randomly do that. Like <clears throat> sometimes they do it at like three in the morning. It's just a random reboot that they do, and I, I just don't understand why they do it. I, I would never get it. Yeah, man, I'm back. I am back. Da -da 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 With a TV in it, tuning in, and in it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't even remember where we were. So. Uh, you were oh no, we can. You're move. Yeah, no, you were about to look at those seats <laughs> that I sent you. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, you got to send them to me. Did you put them in the chat? Yeah, they're in the uh, that little thing there, the, the little hangout? chat. Yeah, hangout thingy. Uh, I put. Can you, can you put it in there again? Because I had to yeah. refresh. Uh, oh, okay. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Here's. There's one of them. All right. That would be the one for the Intel LGA seven seventy five socket T. Okay. Okay. That's if, if I get the i5. Oh, look at my Cortana just popping up here with I didn't even ask it to. Oh, she does not. <laughs> so, yeah, get out of that. See, the set other one was, um, let's uh, see. Which, which one is it? Because it says Cooler Master, but it brought up a whole bunch of other stuff like Intermax and. Oh, I was like, uh, the, the T4 is. Uh, I, I thought I put it in T4. I may not have. So let me T4 Cooler Master. Now this is if I go to Best Buy. Oh yeah, the Cooler Master T4 though that works with um Intel, Intel and AMD. Okay, yeah, that's that's not at Best Buy. You have to order it. They like they've got stuff for PCs up there now because I was I was throwing a fit. Like you all should have stuff so that people can buy, you know, put together their own PCs. They do now, but it's like the stuff that I, because I'm glad you said something about the cooling fan because I had no idea about that. I mean, I would have eventually got to it. Yeah, I mean, uh, some processors come with the uh, with a with a stock heat sink and fan, um, but honestly, it's it's better to get an aftermarket man. It's quieter and it just works better. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, let's see, brand manufacturer assembled dimensions. Yeah, this would this would work good for you. I actually have this cooler as well. I have the Hyper Two Twelve, 
That's the one that's in my big case. I think I showed that one on stream. And I also have uh, this one, the T4. This is the one that I was going to use in the 80, the system that has the 8350 in it. But yeah. for some reason, the way the motherboard is made, it, it blocked like two of the RAM slots. And I just did not fucking like that. Because it uh -huh. looks small, but it is it's big when you see it in person, man. It really is. Yeah, it's like this that power unit. I thought it would be small. I'm like, man, this thing looks medieval. Yeah, I would definitely go with that if I was you. I would definitely go with that. All right. Yeah. Wow. And then I think I think this was the other one. That may I may be the same thing I put in there twice. I think I might just take a dive and go full RGB. Really? Yeah, man, it was Comcast, bro. Comcast took me down. He was like, they was like, fuck this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> No, Comcast was like, they are not having it, bro. They are not having it. I hate it, though, because now the podcast, the podcast gets split up into freaking two different, um, two different segments. Okay, yeah, that's happened to me before. That, that Twitter is now all a buzz about, I guess, that thing that they just did. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, it's coming. Yeah. No one understands me. It's coming, bro. It's coming. Oh, my. Somebody's already cross-playing uh, as Ellie. I saw that, too. I saw that, too. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, stocks uh, drop for Nintendo. That's one thing. Who cares? Does anybody care? Does anybody care that Nintendo stock drop? No, because it goes I, up and down. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't really care that Nintendo stock dropped. I mean, I don't... I really don't. I really don't care. I mean, Nintendo's cool, man. Nintendo's cool, but yeah, they they do their stuff. I mean, the fact that their stocks drop, I just don't don't care. Uh, Bioware unlikely to return to Star Wars anytime soon. Ooh, Dragon Age and Mass Effect. Sega explains why Shenmue One and Two run at thirty hertz on PC. What? Wow, that's crap. Hold on, I gotta see this, bro. Yeah, I saw that yesterday. Hold on. When the Shenmue releases were announced for PC earlier this year, continue with ad blocker, uh, Sega tentative, tentatively promised modernized features without naming specifics. Now the publisher has revealed more on its new settings, its reworked control scheme, scheme and why both games cannot run above 30 hertz on PC. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck is going on? In a frequently asked question posted to Shinmu's corner of the Sega website, the publisher explains that throughout the engine game and game code and scripts, there are hard coded assumptions about a fixed 30 hertz frame a frame update rate. All of which means the game needs to run at 30 hertz. Likewise, for technical reasons, Sega has chosen to port Shinmu 2's Xbox iteration as opposed to its Dreamcast variant. The, form, the former includes features absent from the latter, says Sega, such as a snapshot system, filter, filters, texture mini-maps, which improve anti-aliasing and better visuals. The frequently asked questions explain saves can be carried over from Shinmu to Shinmu 2 on PC and that saving anywhere in game is possible. Both games also include new post processing effects, updated UI and HD resolution rendering. Oh my god, HD resolution rendering. Oh, <clears throat> this is terrible. Players can choose from either English or Japanese in both games, and PC players can look forward to both full controller and configurable mouse and keyboard support. Moreover, while cutscenes are letterboxed in their original formats, oh, the god. default aspect ratio in game is 16 by 9. Oh my god. Fuck. Why even dog, why even port this shit, dog? Just just don't port it at all. If <sighs> I told you guys a long time ago. Does anybody in here remember? Do, do any of my old subs remem remember? Do y'all remember when I told y'all that that fucking Shinmu 2, Shinmu 1 and Shinmu 2, the screenshots, everything looked super lazy? Does anybody fucking remember that? You remember that, Ian? I remember that, yeah. You remember I was like, yo, I was yeah. super hyped for this shit, but it looked like they put absolutely no effort into this shit. Yeah. Wow. 
Wow. Well, that's pretty poor. That's pretty poor. Solid Rev said, "There is something in the water as everyone is turning gay." Uh, well, there's what? there's a there's a gay pill or or like a gay drug that you can take that makes you gay. I don't I don't know. That's it was like it was like that time at Fatal told me this guy sued a, a drug company because he took painkillers or something that turned him gay. What? Yeah, it, it was Fatal told me it was a. Uh, uh, this guy took a prescription for I think it was kind of if it was antibiotics or painkillers, but uh, he had a, a wife and children. All of a sudden, he said the tablets turned him gay, so he tried to sue. <laughs> Damn! I feel it goes tablets don't turn you either that or not. <laughs> Yo, that's the shit. That's so weird to me, dog. I'm like, what the fuck? I mean, I'm drinking a lot of water in my life, a lot of water in my life bro i've drunk a lot of water in my life and never once did i take a look at a man and said damn that's some delicious ass right there i just <laughs> I, would, I would love to fuck the shit out of this guy oh, no dog what the hell <laughs> that shit is funny dog it's funny because it ain't funny it's funny because it ain't funny because it is funny because it's stupid because it's fucking stupid dog when will people realize you cannot turn somebody gay they have to already be gay and then accept their gayness bro that's it yeah, then they have to want to go experience it it's i gotta jump off here i gotta i'm gonna go grab these tickets for this movie tonight ant-man and waltz everybody's gonna check that shit out i heard somebody said that it was uh a little underwhelming craig well that's okay they're small people so it can be a little <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good hey. one <laughs> yo that, that he he hit that old point didn't it yeah, it, it, can't, it just yeah. rolled all the way off. <laughs> all yeah. right, Greg. Catch you later, man. Thank you for stopping right, by, bro. bro. Thanks for having me, yo. Ian, take it easy, brother. Absolutely. You and remember, when you play your, you know, I'm going to play some Mass Effect 2 as well because, you know, I, I got to get in, you know, because I'm that character, you know. I'm, I'm the one in space. He said I'm that I'm character. Like, yeah. <laughs> but y'all take it easy. <laughs> yo, peace out, Craig. Be easy. <laughs> um <clears throat> once again man uh just tough to touching on that topic i don't think I, I really i honestly wholeheartedly do not believe that solid rev is racist i i know that sounds weird as fuck and i know you would probably think that i'd be the first one to be like that nigga's racist as fuck i don't think he's racist at all man i do think that he grew up a certain way right yeah. i do think that certain things were indoctrinated in him that he cannot shake I do think he has some beliefs that do not coincide with the beliefs of others. Um, I do believe that he is a person who is not willingly do doing what he's doing. I think it's something that's been systematically put in, like, programmed into him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, from but family. I, yeah. yeah, from family and shit like that. But I don't think that he is racist. Yeah. I, I don't think that he is racist. Like... It, it's very hard for me to believe that he's racist. I think he just has some beliefs that does not coincide with things that I would believe to be, you know, something yeah. that I would be down with. Um, would I be like one of race, uh, one of solid Rev's cool friends? Fuck no, because no. I believe he teeters right on the edge. Mm. You know what I mean? I feel yeah. like he teeters on the edge of it. And I, I'm I'm hoping that he just doesn't go full fledged. But uh at this particular moment I would not think that he's racist. But he did use that mantra of I can't be racist because I grew up around black people. Like Yeah, he was trying to say he lived in in the ghetto and yeah, he, he that's was kind of what he said. But yeah, what he has to realize yeah. is not all black people grew up in the hood. No, nope. you know what I'm nope. saying? Like that's no, nope. that's the one thing that he he needs to cut from his mind already because yeah. just he's because you're black he, doesn't mean that you yeah, come from the projects. He, he's trying to stereotype, and it's yeah. not the case. Again, the more he talks, 
the more it's like unjustifiable and you can't really defend them. That's that's no, kind of how it, that's 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 kind of how it is. Yeah. Um, I don't have any problems with Rev because Rev isn't in my circle of people that I fuck with. So yeah, I mean he's just another guy. You know what I mean? Um, and like I said, Rev has said a lot of things. This ain't the first time he said a lot of things that make me look at him like hmm. But again, I don't worry about things that's like that I, I don't really worry about that like i said there's enough good people in the world that yeah. you don't have to worry about all the bad ones you know what i mean very true like ian is one of my best internet friends <laughs> 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 and i say internet friends because yeah i've never met ian in real life no, but no. ian is one of my best internet friends he's my scottish brother from another mother then you got fatal the fat bear hugger mefesto i don't know what he had milk bags yeah yeah mi- milk bag mefesto you know that's my my canadian brother from another mother and you know <laughs> I, I just me personally i love everybody bro like as long as you're a cool individual i don't give a fuck i'll fuck with you but i mean if you're on some bullshit i mean i take yeah. everybody on a case by case basis you know what i yeah. mean and that's that's just how it is that's the best way <clears throat> Milk Bags McGee. I think he has a hyper masculine identity, and that is why he has difficulty playing as women. I have dressed as one in public twice. What? You have dressed? Did you? You pulled the cloud? You put a cloud on Final Fantasy Seven? Uncompetitive. Uncompetitive pulled the cloud on Final Fantasy Seven. Mm-hmm. Is Diver your friend? Uh, Diver's cool. Diver's cool. I like Diver. I like Diver. I think Diver is funny. I think Diver is like really, really funny because he gets really, really upset when you talk about Xbox, but he tries to play like he's not really upset when you talk about Xbox, but you can tell that he's really upset when you talk about Xbox. <laughs> y'all, look, y'all, look, y'all never notice. I always fuck with Diver. Like I always fuck with Diver because I know it really pisses Diver off when I talk about Xbox. I used to do the same. See, it used to be fun because I used to do it to Uncompetitive too, and Uncompetitive just kind of got on board. Like fuck this, I, I ain't finna keep, <laughs> I ain't finna keep going back and forth with this nigga. Like I used to always talk shit about Xbox just because I know Uncompetitive would get started. Like, well, you know, I bought the Xbox because of this, this, that, and the third. I'm talking about. We used to go the entire fucking podcast talking about Xbox. <laughs> yeah, Griffin Gaming's quite good as well. Oh, okay. And I was Madonna in a school rock mime. Hmm. Shout out to Uncompetitive. At six, so his school has a switch day. Whose school has a switch day? What are we talking about? Uh, Fatal Mephesto might be able to stream again if Hotel Wi-Fi quit screwing him up. Yeah, I've oh, seen it. I've yeah. seen how he drop out when he's like just doing regular streams. Just like, fuck it. Wi-Fi hotel go out and it's like, ah. but they do that purposely. They do that purposely. What happens is when you're in like the hotel setting, they have this gated thing, and if you're using too much data, it purposely kicks you off uh, the network. Yeah, because technically you're not supposed to be in a hotel downloading a whole bunch of shit. You ain't supposed to be downloading because how many people would just rent a hotel just so they could download like pirated shit? They would yeah. definitely do that. Oh, man. But, man, that's what I love. Listen, that's what I love about my chat, man. I have, like, a diverse crowd of people. You got Uncompetitive. You got Tried Vieira, who just showed up. Like, I don't know. Tried Vieira probably was watching me, but not really saying anything. But I notice when people show up, though. I notice when I see a face that's not familiar. And I know that there's a lot of people who just be in a background. Just use a VPN. Uh, he can't just use a VPN. It doesn't work that way. It goes based off of data that's moving across the uh, network. It goes based off da- data moving across. The- I know this because I manage nothing. I-, I manage a whole bunch of networks. Um, There was a girl who wanted to be Madonna, and I was a fan of Madonna and thought she was full of herself and no girl could be her. Hmm. Wait, so you took away this girl's dream to be Madonna? How dare you, uncompetitive? <laughs> How dare you kill dreams like this, uncompetitive? That is that is messed up. 
You did it out of spite too, didn't you? You did it out of spite. I bet you did. Sick, you went to school for networking. Yes, sir. Yeah, I I've got a degree in computer science, so and Same I here. work I work in networking, so it's quite it can be uh, up and down, but it's fun. The Last Prodigy. What is good, The Last Prodigy? I've seen The Last Prodigy around. Like, I see him every now and then. I don't even know it's a him. I'm saying him. But I see him every now and then. I be seeing you, bruh. I be seeing you, bro. <laughs> uh, Papa Don't Preach. I'm not even sure where we going with that. I'm very quiet. I noticed. I've noticed. But see... You talk when you need to say something. That's that's how we're going to talk it up. You only talk when you have something important to say. So really, is it that you're very quiet or you only speak when you feel you need to speak? If I were Rev, I would turn off the Internet for a while. Yeah, he definitely should just turn off the Internet, man. Cause, and you know what I noticed, though? I noticed no matter how bad of a person you are, right? There's always going to be a group of people who try to justify the things that you say and I, I i've noticed that a lot and i've seen a lot of people who said well rev you know you always got people who throw around that word racist and eh, that's that's kind of true too a lot of people do throw around the word racist but the thing is once he went back and read what he wrote he was like oh shit yeah that that does sound kind of bad that that sound that sounds kind of bad I would have respected it more if he wouldn't have deleted the tweet, though. Deleting the tweet almost makes me feel like. Yorick Hunt, what is up? Thank you, bro. I definitely do appreciate it. Wow. Um, And if you're not a bro. Well, no, you're a bro. I don't care if you're a girl or a boy. You're the bro. Um, Bond is defending Rev like crazy. Um... I think Bond can kind of see it from Rev's perspective a lot easier because Bond is half white. I think his mom or his dad is white. Um, But again, like I said, I look at it from the perspective of I don't really think Rev is racist. I just think there's a lot of things indoctrinated into his into his into his into his life that causes him to act the way that he acts i mean there's a lot of people who honestly don't know when they're saying things that could be detrimental and i think he doesn't know how detrimental the things that he's saying is and i guess i'm just being politically correct when i say that because i don't care enough about rev to even really continue talking about rev you know what i mean it's it's kind of like that um i think he i think he fucked up with the tweet you know what i'm saying i think he said what he meant though that's the that's the one thing what people seem to not really understand i think he meant every bit of what he said i think he meant every bit of what he said i think he does have a level of white superiority within himself when you say things like uh these black youtubers i mean come on come on fam i mean there's a whole bunch of white people who disagree with you too rev but you say these these black youtubers i I don't know man anthem better be fire anthem will be fire i can't wait to play anthem you y'all already know anthem is getting fired up on the 1080 ti and i'm buying it for playstation for all my homies on playstation that's playing it i'm definitely buying it for playstation but i'm definitely buying it for pc as well i cannot wait for this game to come out yes let's get back to the game talk um anthem I can't wait for that to come out. Kingdom Hearts, can't wait for that to come out. Spider-Man, can't wait for that to come out. Dragon Quest, is it Dragon Quest 11? It's yeah, Dragon, Dragon Quest, Quest 11, 11, right? Yeah. I can't wait for that to come out. Spyro, can't wait for that to come out. Uh, Metro Exodus, can't wait to play that. Um, Forza Horizon 4, can't wait to play that. See, it's weird, isn't it? People uh, people swear that I uh, swear me up and down. Uh, sick me you and ian gotta get on anthem for sure for sure you already oh, yes. know you oh, already yeah. know oh yeah i you signed already up already know i signed up for the closed beta for the pc so let, to play. 
Oh, uh, go ahead. My bad. I ain't mean to cut you off. I've just seen that. I oh, no, it wasn't that. It was the Division Two. I signed up for the closed beta. So. Oh, I'm getting uh, the Division Two for sure. Yeah. I'm getting the Division Two definitely. Uh, but here's the thing, right? A lot of people think that I hate Xbox. Like I have a personal gripe with Xbox. I don't have a personal gripe with Xbox. I just don't feel like Xbox is doing what I want them to do. So me as a consumer, I made a choice and I decided that I'll no longer support their console. That's well, especially, all it especially, is. Especially every E3, it's games to show you you can play on, con on our console and you can play on PC. So what's the point? Absolutely. Yeah, you definitely do need to get a new gaming headset. To be honest with you, man, I'm going to tell you, when I play with y'all, I got a, a set of Bluteo headphones that plugs into my Samsung mic. That's how I be talking to y'all. And I like that setup. It works for me. Um, but I'm not sure. What is a good PC headset? You know what? Let's 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 look this up. Let's look this up together and figure out what is a good PC headset. I quite fancy Code Vein. I do like Code Vein. I'm getting Code Vein as well. Code Vein is supposed to be like that anime version of uh, Dark Souls, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we we talking about the same thing here. Yeah. Yeah, but I can't wait for it, man. It's listen. It's so many games coming out, man. This is I why know. it's such a great time to be a gamer right now, man. Like people don't understand it or realize it, but gaming right now is at it's in a great place, man. Yeah. Uh, let's see YouTube, and let's look up best headsets for PC gaming 2018. Apparently, I'm not the only one that searched this. So let's see what we got from Tech Legend. It looks like he has 320 thousand views. Wow. Man, I wish I could get 320 thousand views. That's my goal. My goal is by. Twenty ninety nine to be able to get three hundred and twenty thousand views. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. All right, here it we go. An exact month trying out every single headset in the marketplace, and then all of a sudden Turtle Beach says, "Hey, we have a new product coming out." One of the first things I said is, "Does this work for you? Are you comfortable wearing this? And are you going to be able to to compete?" But then I look at Krim. If he doesn't like something, he's going to tell you for real. Did you, did you like the headset? He's like, yes. Good. Let's make this happen. And we did. To me, number one is the comfort. Because you don't even want to feel these headsets when you play. You have a headset on for hours and hours and hours of time. And if it's not comfortable for you, then it's like, you know, you're not going to want to wear it. Like, I've never seen something like this before where you can actually find the perfect adjustment. Uh, it's going to be a huge help when we're playing. Things that are going on. Having a quality headset can completely change your gaming experience, and unless you're all the products mentioned in this video will be in the description down below, along with up, but they are subtle. With the microphone removed, only the HX. Cell phone mute. My bad. But that is my goal. My goal is for 20 by 2099. I want to be able to at least get 320,000 views. <laughs> yeah, I ain't, I ain't reaching for a million. Listen, I know a million is a bit much. So, you know. Oh, and I will say this again. Um, I'm getting ready to set up uh, my little office space uh, for VR. So I will be doing a lot more VR streams as well. Unfortunately, I don't have the HTC Vive yet. So my, uh, I ain't gonna even say unfortunately. I'm gonna just say I don't have the HTC Vive yet. So the games that I will be streaming that will be VR will be my uh, PlayStation VR headset uh, games. Uh, going Vive instead of Rift, absolutely. Absolutely. From what I've seen, I, I think that the Vive is the better purchase. What you think, Ian? Yeah, I've I've had a shot at the Vive, well the the last model because this is a newer model. But yeah, I'm getting a pro uh, for sure. I'm getting yeah, a pro for and, sure. Yeah, uh, 
I might end up getting it eventually anyway because there's plenty of space in here to set up the sensors and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, it's it's a lot. It's really immersive. So, um, but I know PlayStation's VR headset will be better second generation. It's just they've got to work out all the bits and bobs. But I'm sure the next one will be really nice. Right. But. Yeah, but the Vive is definitely the best one because I've had a shot of both, and the Vive definitely is a better. Right. Okay. What up, uh, the Almighty Spartan God? What is good? What is good? You late to the party, bro? How how thrash say it? Uh, you gotta take out the garbage, bro. You gotta take out yeah. the trash, man. You gotta take out the trash. You do I, what you do. <laughs> I think I'm going to get a Skull Candy headset. Uh, Skull Candy, Skull Candy, Skull Candy, Skull Candy. I'm thinking about Skull Candy. I remember I used to be a manager at JVC Kenwood. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm telling y'all everywhere I don't fucking work that. But yeah, yeah, I used to be a, I used to be a, a manager at JVC Kenwood, and um, I think they're the ones that make the Skull Candy headsets. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I believe they make. I, I believe they make the Skull Candy headsets. I got a lot of radios from them for free too. Like the every new radio that came out, like for the car and stuff like that, they would always give us a um a, a free radio. And you know, nice. I guess because they wanted us to check them out, you know, just so we can you know yeah. get the the feel of what the customer would be experiencing. And I have I must say that uh, Kenwood has some pretty great car radios. Is it your birthday again at Almighty? <laughs> D nobody cares. Savage Uger. That's why he's savage. Crap mm-hmm. Gamer is good friends with Next Gen 720, but doesn't like the Japanese for some unknown reason. Listen, they'll like whoever Microsoft tells them to like, and they'll yeah. like to like it. Uh, so like no one is da 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 da. Mistitle a video like Smooth did. I think he got over three hundred thousand views on that. Everything wrong with the Tupac movie. Um, no, nah, I ain't really about mistitling. I mean, I, I know that I could do like bullshit titles and, and throw out like crazy ass videos and I'll have people running. But, um, I honestly like, I'm gonna tell you what gets tiring to me. Right. Um, like the console war shit, it gets tiring as fuck to me. Like I really don't even be caring about it no more. Like, cause it doesn't make a difference to me. Cause like for me, the console war is meaningless because whichever console I wanted, you know, I would just get that console. But I don't know. Kenwood is dope. Everyone knows the first thing you upgrade in your personal vehicle is the sound system. Um, Kenwood makes a lot of trash and a lot of their models had really, really bad problems with the um, the SD cards that are built into them. They would just fail out of nowhere for no reason and pretty much brick the, the radios. Uh. Um that's some insider information. Damn, I hope Kenwood don't listen to this shit. <laughs> Sig used to work at a Jamaican food truck in Miami while at the same time working in Jacksonville at a construction Fuck no, I've never worked at a construction site. I used to work for a roofing company a long time ago. This was like 11 years ago. I used to work for this place called uh, Advanced Roofing. And uh, man, did I used to hate that fucking job, man. I used to hate it. Listen, I saw somebody... I saw somebody, you know how you tar the roofs or whatever? Yeah. I saw somebody actually flip the, br- like, they, they had the little mop that they dip in the towel. They yeah. flipped that shit up. Like, the, the tar came off of the mop, hit a dude in his arm, and literally burnt the skin off his shit. I was like, oh, fuck out of here, yeah. dog. Oh, God. Uh, let's see. What is this news that I'm I'm getting here? NISA president says Microsoft is not very supportive of Japanese games. Yeah, that, this was October 18th of 2017. The president of Nippon Ichi America, Takuro Yamashita, told MCV that he does not believe Microsoft is very supportive of Japanese games in a candid interview with the outlet. The, act, the actual reasoning gets into a little bit of uh, minutiae, whatever. As Yamashita's reasoning has more to do with Microsoft's requirement for publishing on the Xbox, he explains that Microsoft requires a minimum order for publishing on their systems. For niche games like Kind Nippon Ichi specializes in, the minimum is way above what they expect to sell. 
Nishon Nihon, Nihon Falcom, President Tashirio, Tishihiro Kondo also agreed, but explained that the Xbox mindshare or lack thereof in Japan is the largest determining factor for their decision not to support the system. Microsoft's relationship with Japan and Japanese developers has always been a strange one. The original Xbox failed to make much of a dent in the Japanese market as the PlayStation 2 was the undisputed market leader and whatever scraps remained in the market were taken up by Game Boy Advance and to some extent the GameCube. Microsoft made a stronger attempt with the Xbox 360 by courting developers and paying for major JRPGs like Tales of Vesperia, Blue Dragon, and Lost Odyssey. It is strange to think about now, but there was a time where the idea of Devil May Cry or a new Final Fantasy on the Xbox was considered unfathomable. Uh, this also did not do much, and the Xbox 360 was barely a blip on the radar in, the Jap in Japan once again. This led to a confusing marketing strategies from Microsoft's Japan team, including partnering with Japanese pornography actresses to position games like Gears of War and Dead Rising alongside porn pornographic films as things only for adults. What? The Dead chicken family. and egg scenario of how and why Japan did not care about the Xbox brand led Microsoft to simply give up on the region with the Xbox One. The system launch treated Japan as a tier two region, which made a lot of business sense, but also made for bad optics to Japanese developers, and Microsoft stopped making deals with Japanese developers and publishers. After the high profile cancellation of Scalebound and Microsoft seeming blitheness about it, a lot of trust in Microsoft has eroded from both developers and fans of Japanese games. Fans particularly took notice this year when many high-profile Japanese PS4 games were exclusive to that console, but did not, sh well, but didn't show any sign of even entertaining Xbox One versions. Games like Yakuza, Persona, Nier, and Neo completely skipped the Xbox One, despite some of them having PC versions released or announced. Xbox head Phil Spencer recently tweeted about going to Japan to meet with partners, indicating an intention to take the region's game seriously. It remains to be seen how Microsoft will work with Japanese publishers in the future, but smaller ones appear to need more proof of support and enthusiasm before getting on board. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What you think, Ian? The, they could do deals here and there with Japanese, but their fans won't play the games. So, what? what's the point? <laughs> hey, man, it is what it is, man. These are the same people who said that they don't like Jap crap, right? Like, yeah. Uh, what do you expect? I mean, yeah. do y'all really think that these people are going to go out and buy these games? Because no. if you do believe that, I got a bridge to sell you. I got a bridge to sell you. Don't they mostly play mobile games over in Japan? I don't think so. Well, the Vita still does well in Japan. I mean, it is mobile, but I don't think that yeah. that's I don't think that that's what the situation is. I think uh, Japanese people play whatever. They want to play. I mean, Monster yeah. Hunter was like the biggest seller, and then uh, that shit puts PlayStation Four units like crazy. Yeah, it's a lot harder to get into the Korean market because a lot of them prefer PC gaming. So, yeah, yeah, I've noticed that with PUBG, that shit became a smash over there in Korea. Shit, yeah. if you ever play the PC version, man, <laughs> when you hear the chat, all you hear is motherfuckers speaking like some type of Asian language. Yeah, I'm not touching that game. It's just trash. Oh, uh, what, PUBG? I ain't gonna lie. PUBG no. is super fucking boring, man. It is super boring. Like, But then again, like I said, I can't just I can't just chalk it up to PUBG because I feel that way about all of these Battle Royale games. I like games that have story. Like, I wouldn't have no problem playing a, a game multiplayer or co-op if it has a good story to go along with it. How is yeah. it that we sat down and we played uh, Scourge, the outbreak? It had a pretty decent story to it once you figured yeah. out what was going on. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. And we had fun playing that game. Oh, yeah. We got our ass handed to us. We got yeah. killed a lot. Yeah. But we, but we enjoyed back. that shit. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Let's see. Send Votes got another article here. 
Metal Max Zeno coming to West. New character Masaki and Tank Type 22 Flak Panzer. What the hell is Metal Max? Mm. This is something I've never heard of. You ever heard of Metal Max? No. I like the art style in it, though. It looks like a... What can I say? It looks like a comic book sort of kind of. Hmm. That's what we need. We need another comic zone. I don't know if you yeah. remember Comic Zone from the Sega Genesis. Oh, fucking amazing. Yeah. Cyborg Justice. Oh, my God. Yeah. That game would be fucking amazing as well. Streets of Rage. A new Streets of Rage. A real Streets of Rage would be fucking amazing right now. Yeah. Spider-Man, then SOTR. Lit as fuck. What is SOTR? Shadow. Oh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm playing both of those games. I'm still trying to figure out where I'm going to play those games at, though. Not not Spider-Man, but I'm thinking if I'm going to get Shadow of Tomb Raider on the PC or am I just going to get it on PlayStation. I'll just get it on both. Fuck it. It doesn't matter. I'll get it on both. But um, I was going to get Tomb Raider on the PC and get and get Spider-Man for... Uh, well, I'm getting both of them. Yeah. I'm getting both of them on both. I'm getting, well, not both of them on both because Spider Man is only on one, but I'm getting uh, yeah. Shadow of Tomb Raider on both. Battle Royale. Final Fight 3 needs to happen. Oh, man. What you know about Final Fight, bruh? Final Fight. I think Final Fight 3 exists, if I'm not mistaken. I, I am almost sure I played Final Fight 3 on Super Nintendo. Let me, maybe I'm wrong. Final Fight 3. Okay, I knew I wasn't crazy. Final Fight 3 already exists on Super Nintendo. I knew I wasn't going crazy. Yeah, so, yeah. That was a great console. Yeah, Super Nintendo was lit. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely lit. I'm off to get some food. Cheers, sick Ian and chat. Peace out, Thomas Han. I definitely do appreciate yeah. you coming through. Jemiah, I think the hype for Red Dead Redemption 2 kind of died. That shit should have. I don't even know why people was hyped up for that game to begin with. And you know what's funny? I was one of the people with the most unpopular opinion about that. But come to find out, there was a whole bunch of people who felt exactly like what the fuck I felt like anyway. They just didn't want to say it. We don't really. It's... I didn't like the first one, so I don't. I won't be the, buying the second one. The first one is cool once it starts to amp up. Once you actually start to do shit, then it, it gets it gets better. It gets better. Uh, let's see. Jemai, I think uh, Pulp Fiction was a damn cool film. Yeah, it was. Classic. Yeah, it was. Reservoir Dogs is a classic as well messed up but <laughs> let's do this let's play let's play two gotta go you have the entirety of the uncharted series the entirety of the gear series and the entirety of of the Mario series. Which one do you keep? And which two got to get the fuck out of here? I'm telling you right now. Hmm. Y'all probably going to think I'm crazy as fuck, but I ain't getting rid of the Mario series, bro. Y'all crazy as hell. I ain't getting Mario three, man. Mario three got me through some crazy days, bro. Super Mario World, Super Mario 2. Now, that shit can go. That can get the fuck out of here. That Super Mario 2 was trash. Uh, the regular Super Mario with the duck hunt. Hey, man. I'm I'm sorry, man. If I had to give up... If I had to give up two of these, Gears and Uncharted would get the fuck out of here, man. I know that sound crazy coming from me, but... Man, I don't know, man. I got too many memories with Mario, bro. I got too many mir I got too many memories with Mario, bruh. I'm sorry, dog. Like I, I know that's crazy, but man, maybe that wasn't a good comparison because we already know that Gears is an excellent series, Uncharted yeah. is an excellent series. I think it was kind of unfair to even put Mario there, but dog, that's crazy, dog. I it's crazy to know that I would even say that, dog. But damn. 
Oh man, Mario sixty four was lit. Oh Mario yeah, sixty four was lit. Can't fucking lie, can't lie. Oh, Super Mario Sunshine, I always fuck with that one. I know people said that that was one of the ones they hated, but I like Super Mario Sunshine. All right, so let's go for this. Okay, let's let's not do one gotta go, or let's do one gotta go, one gotta go. Meaning, we're not getting rid of everything. We're only getting rid of one. Tekken. Bloody Roar. Street Fighter. Mortal Kombat. Tekken. Oh. Bloody Roar. Street Fighter. Mortal Kombat. First I of all, Mortal Kombat ain't going nowhere. Mortal Kombat is not going nowhere. Oh, I would have Tekken in Mortal Kombat. No problem. Oh my God! Hold on, hold on. Let me see. This this is gonna be kind of hard. This is gonna be kind of hard, man. Oh man, I'm definitely okay. Okay, Ian, which ones you getting rid of? Which one you getting rid of? Well, I would. Well, as I said, I would keep Tekken and Mortal Kombat. And what was the other ones again? Tekken, Mortal Kombat, Bloody Roar, Street Fighter. Uh, I keep Street Fighter. Oh, man. I'm going to have to let Street Fighter get the fuck out of here, dog. <laughs> Bloody Roar, Tekken, and Mortal Kombat got to stay, bro. Peace out, Street Fighter. Deuces. Tekken is the Xbox of the bunch. Damn, bro, don't do not do me like that, man. I love Tekken, bro. Tekken is my... Tekken is probably my all-time favorite fighter right next to Mortal Kombat, dog. Because, come on, y'all, I don't know about y'all, man, but Mortal Kombat came out so goddamn long ago. I that remember coming home from school, dog, getting Liu Kang, doing a goddamn bicycle kick and the dragon kick and shooting niggas with fireballs. Dog, I remember it, dog. Oh no, man. I can't get rid of Mortal Kombat, dog. That was that was my first fighter game was Mortal Kombat, so Bloody Roar was a broken game without Street Fighter Bloody Roar, nor a lot of fighters wouldn't exist. Yeah, but I would have to get rid of Street Fighter, man. I I would love to, I, I would have to let Street Fighter go. I would have to let it go, man. If you pick Mortal Kombat, does it remove the movies? Yeah, it removes everything because that shit won't exist. Yeah. <laughs> if it doesn't exist, none of the merchandising, none of that shit would exist. Yeah, man. Bloody Roar was a broken game. Bloody Roar was a broken game, but it was super fun, man. And when you turn into those animals, dog, and you actually learn the moves, oh, man, you did those finishers. Oh, my God. Oh my god, dog. <laughs> I can't man, I have to let Street Fighter go. What about Dead or Alive series? Um Now nah, we'll do another one. We'll do another one for that. We'll do another one for that. Uh Dead or Alive the franchise. Dead or Alive franchise. Eternal Champions. Soul Calibur. Hold on, hold on. Soul Calibur. And what's another big fighting game franchise? Virtual Fighter. There you go. Virtual Fighter, Soul Calibur, Eternal Champions, Dead or Alive. I got to throw Eternal. Actually, you know what? Forget Eternal Champions. Put King of Fighters in there. Forget Eternal Champions. Put King of Fighters in there. Shaq Fu is still trash. Facts. Facts. King of Fighters to go. Oh, man. King of Fighters, Virtual Fighters, Dead or Alive, and Soul Calibur. I only played Soul Calibur and Dead or Alive, so. One gotta go, the rest stay. A. Hey. I'm with you, no one understands me. Virtual Fighter is the worst fighting game in the world to me. To me. I hated that game. I hated everything about that game. I hated it when it was on Sega Genesis. I hated it when they put it on Sega Saturn. I just fucking hated that game. 
Ah, dead or alive, be gone. Come on, Antonio. Come on, fam. <laughs> Come on, fam. The character designs are ass, too. Yeah, absolutely. Virtual Fighter is already dead since all the characters went to DOA. Facts. <laughs> That's facts. That shit is dead. All right. Okay, so there's another one here from Mr. Pio. Halo, God of War, Uncharted, Zelda. One gotta go. Wow. I'm telling you right now, Halo can get the fuck out of here because I don't give a damn about Halo. Halo could not exist and I would not care. Halo is not a staple in my childhood. I barely played that motherfucker. Fuck Halo. Halo was out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, man, I don't even care about the money. All I'm talking about is the experience. I wouldn't want to lose the Uncharted experience. I wouldn't want to lose the God of War experience. Zelda. <laughs> Zelda's kind of a classic, shot. dog. Yeah. Zelda is classic, bro. Hey, man. Halo. For me, Halo can get all the way the fuck out of here. No Master Chief. <laughs> yeah, Halo can get the fuck out of here. Sick, you see my super. Oh, shit. My bad. Damn. Uh, let me go. Uh, what's your top five games for the fall? <sighs> top five for the fall. You already know two of them. You already hmm. know two of them. Actually, you probably already know three of them. Spider Man, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, um, Dragon Quest Eleven. Battlefield 5. Uh, Spyro. Yep. Yep. Spyro. Dragon Quest 11. Spider Man. Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I'm good. I'm good. Let's see. Dylon, 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 <laughs> <Dylon> and Dylon. <laughs> Spider Man and Red Dead, Redu Red Dead Redemption 2. Nothing else matters. Spider Man, Spider Man, Spider Man. Master Chief is just a male Seamus. Huh. Actually, that's, that's kind of true. But didn't Seamus talk in the game? Like, didn't she talk in one of those games? what you did i know i know master chief talked in halo one he was talking to cortana yeah but you never really know what that what what's inside that suit no you i'd just, like to one day you just never know we all know six getting spider-man oh hell yeah spider-man for sure for sure i'm getting spider-man that's a day zero cop hopefully uh thrash can get it for me early if I can get it early, break. Yeah, y'all know I don't give a damn about breaking no dates. I stream that shit early as fuck. Fuck Insomniac. Uh, it ain't fuck Insomniac, but I definitely stream that shit early though. Gran Turismo, Forza, Project Cars, or Need for Speed. <sighs> Project Cars can get the fuck out of here. Bye. Peace out, Project Cars. <laughs> Gran Turismo, Forza, Project Cars, or Need for Speed. Project Cars can get the fuck out of here. Like, I really only just started hearing about Project Cars when it when it released that one game. Like, it doesn't have enough clout to stand up against the other games that's in the in in the series. No, because uh, Gran Turismo is a classic. So. Nah, Project Cars gotta get the fuck up out of here, bro. They have to bring back Goat Ridge Racer. Yeah, I used to love going to the arcade to play Ridge Racer. You know, they used to have a seat with the steering wheel and everything. I used to love that shit. That used to be, like, my pastime. I used to go to the uh, Project Cars 2 has already come out. Yeah, absolutely. But what I'm saying is Project Cars doesn't have enough clout to stand up to the other series of games. It doesn't have enough clout to stand up to uh, Forza, Gran Turismo, or Need for Speed. Yeah, we didn't even throw Drive Club in there. Drive Club was a pretty good game, man. Very good looking game. Drive Club still has the best weather effects. 
Spider-Man, Red Dead 2, Last of Us 2, Resident Evil. But Resident Evil ain't coming out in the fall. Nope. Last of Us 2 ain't coming out in the fall either. Or are you saying one got to go? Spider-Man, Red Dead 2, Last of Us 2, or Resident Evil 2? I'm going to tell you right now, if you asking me that question, I'm going to ask the chat. Chat. For all y'all that been here, right? For all of y'all, uh, Project Cars 2 is the only one with VR support. No. Gran nope. Turismo has... VR support. <laughs> what are you talking about? Um, so Drive Club. Yeah, and Drive Club, but Drive Club wasn't in there. Chat. Just from y'all hearing me talk, if it was out of Spider Man, Red Dead 2, Last of Us 2, or Resident Evil 2 Remake, right? Which one do y'all think I would say gotta get the fuck out of here? Just well, based on what I've been saying, this should be fucking easy. This should be the easiest answer ever. Absolutely. 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 Red Dead Redemption can go fucking kick rocks, my nigga. Yeah. Because you can't get rid of Resident <laughs> Evil. It's a classic. <laughs> Resident Evil? Hell no. Yo, yeah, you know that, that that's a good one right there, right? Let's yeah. do this one. Um Resident Evil 2 series. Right? Uh, the Condemned series. I don't know if y'all remember Condemned, but Condemned was a good fucking game. Um, I think people slept on that game though. I, I think people slept on that game. Condemned, Darkness, Resident Two. Evil Two, or Silent Hill. One gotta go. Ooh, that's hard. Cause Silent Hill's a classic as well. Shit. Condemned. Darkness, Silent Hills, Resident Evil series. Which one got to go and never fucking come back? Wow, we didn't see a Silent Hill, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't say Silent Hill, man. That's I remember classic. having some really scary moments Oh yeah, with Silent Hill. Darkness? You, man, listen. Darkness... I have a, I, I love the darkness, man. Just look at me. I love the darkness. <laughs> I love the darkness. I love darkness. Uh, damn, man. Resident Evil ain't going nowhere, dog. No. Silent Hill ain't going nowhere, dog. So it got to be between the darkness and condemned. Condemned, I would The go darkness with. and condemned. I would have to say Sega's condemned would have to get the fuck out of here, dog. It would have to, man. The characters were just much more lovable and freaking the in the darkness, man. If you really played that game and got into the lore of the game, man, I, I like the darkness, bro. Darkness. Yeah, I was kind of peed because back home uh, they actually banned us from having Manhunt Two. I never got to play that game. I got the first one, but I pre-ordered it, and all of a sudden there was so much mothers saying that it causes kids because some kid killed another friend over it or something. And over what? Uh, Manhunt, the first one. So oh, come on. The, sec the second one was banned, so I never got to play the second one because I pre-ordered it because I enjoyed the first one, but I never got to play the second one because it was banned in the UK. But I didn't know if it was banned in the US or not. No, it wasn't. Ah, oh, but, but the get... thing is, I don't understand that though. Like, how do you blame a game? Uh, uh, uh how, how do you blame a game? Well, it's supposed to be he did one of the things that was in the game or something. Okay, so he was fucking crazy as fuck. I mean, yeah. the fuck? Well, the worst thing about it is two of the kids were 14 and 13 and 14, and that game was in 18, so the parent was just as bad for giving the kid that game. True. And uh, let's so see. it was banned in New Zealand as well, so that's why I was wondering if anybody actually did get it. Oh my God! They really have enchanted arms and blue sting, uh, blue stinger on on the list of audio atrocities. 
Blue, listen. Okay, they're not talking about the game. They're talking about the music in the game. But Blue Stinger, one of my favorite games on Dreamcast. I remember getting my Dreamcast, and this was the first game that I got with it. I fucking loved it. Well, this wasn't the first game because it came with Sonic Adventures as well. But this was one of the first games that I played on Dreamcast, and I loved every minute of this game. Enchanted Arms was the game that I couldn't think about. But this was the RPG where uh, one of the characters were gay in the game. I don't know if y'all remember that or not. Anybody played Enchanted Arms? But the game wasn't that bad. The game was pretty decent. I hated the combat system um, because you had to move in squares and shit like that. So I hated the combat system. But man, man, how did they? Wow. I think I swallowed some monster vomit and no pineapple juice. Wouldn't have made this taste better either. When in doubt, spit it out. There's something so direct about this line that makes it funny, especially with your pal dogs. Firm grasp of the obvious at the end. Blue Stinger is a survival horror game that is essentially an unintentional survival comedy. The acting situations and storyline are so cheesy it's impossible to be scared by it. Facts. And it just ends up being one crazy scenario or wacky character introduction after another. The game is a virtual moron gab fest with crazy names for characters, silly conversations taken very seriously, situations that have to be seen to be believed and some of the worst acting I've ever enjoyed. This is probably the game Prince wanted to party with in 1999 and <clears throat> I wouldn't blame him for it. It's that crazy. It seems like Sega localized this and Activision just licensed it. Uh so the blame falls in a familiar place. I could talk about it more, but why? There's some atrocious stuff to hear, and in addition to the three feature clips, there's a bunch of entries into the Dr. Wiley School of Unrehearsed Line reading towards the end of the rest. So dig right in. Exhibit B, I'm going to take a bath. Nothing's going to stop me. This is one of the weirdest scenes in the game. Elliot and his, uh, and his Rofound? His Rolund? What? Whatever partner dogs stumble across a Roman style bath in the middle of a, forto, a fortified base and decide it's time to get naked together to clean up so the monsters can't smell them. Seriously? Exhibit C. The Dashend, is that the name of your pills? Hmm. I like this site. I like this site. I think I'm a, I think I'm gonna stick with this site. I want to hear all the negative shit they want to say about games. Let's see. The game's acting very easily bumped off last alert. It's that bad. And it has classic nonsensical dialogue to boot. Really? They talking shit about Resident Evil director's cut? I mean, but if we're going to be honest, some of that, di some of that dialogue was kind of stupid. Mm, I guess I could look at it from that point. But I, I, I'm, let, me, let me save this to my favorites. Let me go back to the main page. I'm going to save this to my favorites. But damn, they got two games that I like right on the front page, man. Enchanted Arms and Blue Stinger. The fuck? All right, let's see. Japan been on pushing sexuality in video games. True. I remember the first time I saw NFL 2K, I honestly thought I was watching a real football game. Yep, and now you go back and look at it now. <laughs> It's a totally different story. Afro Thunder was my guy and ready to rumble too. Facts. Come on. Come on. Yo, it's a dude who work at my job that look just like Afro Thunder, bro. No bullshit. Uh, forget everything else. I need a Sega Bass Fishing remake. I agree. I agree with the fishing controller. With the fishing controller. Definitely. Uh, let's see. Two to my bad. I thought Ninja Gaiden 3D was rebooted because of DOA. Didn't know they was working on it for the Dreamcast and moved it to Xbox. Nobody was fucking with MJ and ready to rumble. Click on it. Except for, uh, Afro Thunder. <laughs> oh, shit. Tech Technomancer was lit. I was Tech Romancer. I wish Tech Romancer would have caught on more back in the days i also need a new armored core and a zoe what is zo zone of enders oh yeah okay okay uh let's see sega bass fishing would be sweet in vr yes yes it would sick do you ever yell someone call the doctor mm, no i don't think i've ever done that uh 
what up, A Canter? What's good? What is good? Afro Thunder had frame trap combo. You dodged that joint and it was over. Vampire Knight. Don't come! Don't come! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it actually plays sounds as well. This is fucking crazy. Success! Yup, that's that video game with all that damn reverberation on the on the audio clips. Oh no! I left my doll Molly up at Snowy Mountain. I can't sleep without Molly. Please, mister, please find Molly for me. I'll give you a present if you get her back for me. <laughs> Impossible! You can't take them on with just a gun! Oh, thank you so much for your help. You're my knight in shining armor. No! Don't die! Hasn't he suffered enough? <laughs> help! Help! My husband's changed into a monster. I am the chief of this village. Please defeat the vampire boss and restore peace to this village. You will be rewarded for your troubles. I beg you, please kill the vampire. Okay, we'll give it our best shot. I haven't been this excited in a long time. What a thrill. Hope you're ready. How many formidable enemies I've met. But at last, the one thing I've always wanted. Hear my prayers! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Hear my prayers! <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Come on. You just gotta love that, man. Old games, bro. They had some of the cheesiest voice acting and shit you've ever heard in your life. Like, Jesus Christ, what the hell? Oh my God, no, it's Vampire Nights, man. I've never, uh, I've never played that game. One says, uh, "Please take off my clothes." The dialogue is porn movie level bad. Facts. It sounds like an abridged series. I'm very sorry for this. <laughs> I haven't got that part yet. Good thing I'm not around anybody. Oh, man. <laughs> Yo, this shit is fucking crazy. Oh, my God. Hold on. All right. Let me see. Let me see. What else we got on the audio atrocities? Let, let's see what else games they got up here. Uh, let's go to Enchanted Arms. You ready for this? Yeah! <laughs> You've upset him, Makoto. Maybe it's that. Or maybe it's that unique look you've got going, Makoto. My name is Queen of Ice. If you think of me as a goddess, well, you'll be close enough. Why isn't it frozen in here, too? Anyway, lessons are done for now, so let's go! So this... is a city wiped out by a devil golem. Devil Golems? <laughs> the you poor thing, only able to order garbage. Just you watch. Ow, ow. <laughs> <laughs> I won! How about that? I shall take my leave of you fine people. I have much to be getting on with. Unlike you, it seems. I got up early this morning to make that lunch for Toya. The finest, most carefully selected prawns for the sushi. Scallops and a rich, mushroomy cream sauce. <laughs> the special Makoto love omelet accompanied with the pinkest of pickles. Not to mention the raspberry, pecan, chocolate chip cheesecake for dessert. I didn't go to all that trouble for you to stuff your piggy face. 
Oh my god. He'd always see me coming and come running right over right away. I'm alive again. Golem's attacking children? What are you, his legal guardian or something? <laughs> I'm beginning to see that arm of yours. Whoo! We won! Ice golems, which are... Minions of the Queen of Ice. The Yopi Rail, which I love to ride. I'm gonna die! Why you? What do you think you're playing at? You're safe, I take it. Look out, my lady. Make sure you practice what we have studied every day. Especially you, Atsuma. Okay, I love some real action. <laughs> ah, help me, sorry! Leaving a luscious lady like me in a place like this, that stupid sponsor should have put me up in a proper hotel. No breaks for you, Terry. Treasure the moment! <laughs> what color are your flames? The legendary lone wolf? That's hilarious. Are you okay, Rock? It is here that your days end. Here I come, sorry. So you're this town's underworld boss. Next is an opponent I've been waiting for. I'm going to. You cannot possibly win. Just as I expected from the woman I rely on. Sleep calmly in your depression. Wow. That was too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> You're right. Barry, thanks for saving my life. We should start from the first floor, okay? And Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. God damn, did they have to put that much reverb on that? Jesus, sound like they're in the open hallway, like... It's not just a poisonous snake, it's a monster! Are they talking about the Xbox? Ah, <laughs> oh, bless you. Yeah. This house is too dangerous. There are terrible demons. Ouch! There's a page missing! Yeah, I thought about that too. Perhaps that was the most important part. I'm going to find out what caused Forrest's death. It looks like he was killed by a crow or something. Hope this is not Chris's blood. Now, Jill, can you go? I'm going with you. Wow, what a mansion. There must be a back door somewhere. Let's try to find it first, shall we? Okay, let's separate again. Just a moment. I found something. What is it? It's a weapon. It's really powerful, especially against living things. Better take it with you. But how about you, Barry? I have this. Thank you. I'll take this then. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, man. Some of these sound bites, man. They bring back memories, though. Whether you believe it or not, they definitely do bring back memories. <sighs> oh, now I want to go back and play a whole bunch of PS2 games. Damn. Okay. Anyway, uh, I guess it's about that time. I guess we could wrap it up. We've been going way longer than I expected anyway. Uh, yeah. You want to go ahead and do your outro? Yeah, this is Ian, and uh, had a good time, and play games. Play games, not corporations. <laughs> Yo. I could do some cheesy sound bites too. I should just start recording myself saying some of the like weirdest shit. Oh man. Yeah. Get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. <laughs> nah, I can't do I can't do Arnold Schwarzenegger at all. I'll I'll be back. I'll be back. I can't do that either. Hasta la vista, baby.
hasta la vista. Is that even a real word? Is hasta la vista a real word? Does that mean anything in any language whatsoever? I think it's just uh, I think it's just a made up word because uh, I've never heard anybody else say it. <laughs> oh man, hasta la vista. What does la vista mean? Goodbye, la, I think. I don't know. La vista. Doesn't la me like the? The end? I don't know. I don't know. Anybody in here know what hasta la vista mean? Like, hasta la vista, baby. Like, why he got to add the baby at the end? <laughs> I mean, because are you going to kill me and then, like, rape me afterwards? It's, I don't know. It's, 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 it seems like you're prepping me for something, you know? Like, I don't know. Oh, it's, it's just real crazy. Anyway, anyway, let's get the hell yeah. up out of here. Um, I do yeah. want to thank everybody for coming through. I want to thank everybody for coming through. If you guys can hit that like button for me, I definitely do appreciate it. Um this has been another episode of whatever the fuck we about to talk about because that's kind of how it ended up like we didn't come in here with no set topics or nothing like that just kind of talked about what came to mind uh, shout out to everybody man y'all be easy man i'm out deuces bye <laughs>